hello guys welcome to a new video and this is the first video for my ccna security and in this video guys i'm going to show you how i'm going to pass my ccna security exam in six months so this is going to be my strategy um as you can see right here i have created this word document and what i did was i divided um the topics that do not contain a lab versus the topic that do have labs. So I got this straight out of the um, CCNA security exam topics straight out of the Cisco website. So as you can see, I just went um, from all the uh, topics and I picked the one that you actually need to configure. As you can see right here, you have to configure this. Um, this one, you just have to remember, um, you need to compare inbound and outbound. So I just divided it in Two different columns and as you can see for um, security concepts uh, you actually do not need to lab anything so everything that you need to do over here is um, read and understand all this over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read also watch videos and then I'm going to create a PowerPoint and I like to when I'm watching a video I like to take notes so I'm going to take notes and after I take notes, then I'm going to read a pair. Uh, I'm going to read the book, which is the CCNA on security that I'm going to be reading this book. So after I watch the video, right, I'm going to take notes on the video. After that, um, after I take notes, I'm going to go and read the book, the CCNA security book, and then I'm going to create a PowerPoint, right? And after I create a PowerPoint, now as you can see, I have done this three times. So I watched the videos. So I'm going to be watching actually two videos or two different people. I'm going to be watching um, Chris Bryan, um, which I bought the CCMP all in one, which also includes the CCNA security part, which is really good. So I'm going to watch that by Chris Bryan, who is really, really, really good. And then I'm also going to be watching this CVT Nugget series, which is a CCNA security. And this is by Keith Baker. Yes, it is by Keith Baker. So I'm going to be doing that. So as you can see, I'm going to read. Or I'm going to read the book. I'm going to watch two people um, describing um, this, um, describing what this means and what you need to learn for this for this section for the security concepts. And then after that, um, I'm going to create a PowerPoint. So I'm going to, um, one, watch two videos, which is twice. I'm going to take notes. Then I'm going to read the book on that part. And then after that, I'm going to create a PowerPoint. So I'm going to um, at, least being, at least read and write um, four times before I can explain that. So I'm going to create a PowerPoint at the end. And then after I create a PowerPoint, I'm going to create a video and put it on YouTube explaining the security concepts so that way um, i'm going to learn it more and more since i'm going to read it watch it and write it and then create a powerpoint and then explain it to you guys okay so that way i'm going to um, remember um, because i'm going to repeating right over and over watching two videos reading the book taking notes creating the powerpoint and then explain it in the video so that's going to be over and over because the more times that you do it, the better you're going to be at it, right? So as you can see right here, for the part one, for the for the part one, the security concepts, only have um, stuff that I need to read and create PowerPoints and watch videos and all that. And then when we go to the 2.0, the secure the secure access actually has um, stuff that I need to read, watch videos, and, and write and take notes and all that. And uh, as you can see right here, I divided it. Uh, the one that I had to do that with the PowerPoint is going to be over here and then the labs which I'm going to add it to the PowerPoint and what I'm going to add to the PowerPoint is going to be the um, the commands so I'm going to add the commands to the PowerPoint and all that and I also I'm going to like draw um, our topologies in Google I think it's called Google draw so I'm going to have like at routers and all that, and I'm going to create the commands. Um, look, so I'm going to be like creating my own labs 
So and then after I create my own labs, I'm going to configure the labs using GNS3, which I have over here with an ASA. Okay, and then I'm going to make a reader so you guys can see me making that lab for you guys. And as you can see, I have divided it. And as you can see, I also put weeks here. And I only gave myself like for week one, I need to learn this. But I actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to add like one and a half weeks or maybe two weeks um, for each of these topics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this. I'm going to actually just add um, three. And I'm going to give myself um, one and a half weeks so I can do it because I don't think one week is going to be it's going to be work good for me. So, but as you can see right here, I have divided everything for every session, the VPN session. Or you need to, or I need to create the PowerPoints and read and write and watch both videos. It's going to be just for this topic right here, and then the lab is going to be more labbing than anything else. And then the section four, as you can see divided by labs and read PowerPoint and all that. Section five, section six, section seven. And if you guys want this, I'm going to I'm going to add a link so you guys can download this if you guys want to download it and follow this through just like I'm going to be doing it. Um, and as you can see, I wrote everything I was going to do, what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using GNS3 with an ASA appliance using GNS3. Um, like how I'm going to do it, I, how I'm going to keep track. So the way I'm going to keep track is by, I'm probably going to, I want to put everything in a calendar so I can keep track of everything I'm doing. And so also so I can be on top of everything so I don't lose track because I know I'm good at losing tracks. So that's something that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using this calendar a lot. And also um, the CCNA security has a lot of um, for every chapter, and I think there's a lot. Of, I think there's a lot of chapters. I don't, let me see how many chapters there is. Now, there's 17, 19, 20, 20 chapters. So for each chapter, I think they have like 10 questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to those questions. I'm going to add it to Quizlet, and I'm going to um, I'm going to take the quiz um, every once in a while. I'm going to keep going back, and I'm also going to add it to the calendar. Um, from when I need to take a quiz so I can keep track and don't forget um, the previous stuff that I have learned. So that's how I, that's how I'm going to do that using Quizlet. And another one that I'm going to be using is going to be Boston, which um, is a really good product. I bought it for the CCNA and I passed my CCNA um, with a, I believe with like a 860 or something like that. Actually, I took ICND-1 and ICND-2. I don't remember what I passed with the ICND-1, but with the ICND-2, I passed really, it was really, it was a really easy test because I used this software right here. And this software is really, really, really good. So I recommend you guys, I'm also going to add the link if you guys wanna purchase this. Okay, guys? And let's go back to my, let's see. So this is how I'm going to do it as well. Um, as you can see, I'm going to watch U Udemy at work, and then I'm going to be watching CBT Nuggets at home. So two different, I'm going to be listening to two different people about the same topic. And I'm going to ask a question like, what is this used for? So whenever I learn something, I want to know like, what is this used for, right? Um, always ask a question, what is this used for? And, and how is it implemented with confidentiality, integrity, and availability? Because most of the topics um, are going to be f based on confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Okay, and also like social en engineering attacks. How can you how can you um, put a stop to that? How can you put a stop to malware? All of that. Now everything that is in here, we're going to learn how to implement it in one of the topics down here. So let's say for a VPN. What is a VPN used for? Why, what it is useful? Well, for integrity, because you are going to um, have a private, uh, you're going to have a VPN, which is a virtual private network. And by having a VPN, you're going to have the integrity of the data. So nobody can see your data if they don't have access to it. Um, confidentiality, um, confidentiality is when you have a username 
and a password and only the people that have the username and password have access to that data and how can you how can we implement confidentiality well we can implement confidentiality by having a username and password and also by configuring um, radius and TACAS, which is a username and password um, like a software we can also use um, the 802.1x right and also we are going to describe the bring your own device so you know a lot of stuff that we're going to learn on the security concepts are going to be basically we're going to implement it with either securing the access which is confidentiality VPNs which is integrity and availability availability um, is more like um, it's more like redundancy failover and disaster recovery right and all that's going to be covered down here okay so guys that is how I'm going to um, attack this big certification and I hopefully I'm giving myself six months to pass this certification and this is how I'm going to do it so if you guys want to keep track of what I'm going to be doing you can always um, go ahead and follow me at CCNA daily tips um, and there's my Twitter account and if you don't have a Twitter account go ahead and create one and then follow me on Twitter so you can follow my CCNA security and so you can see all my videos and all my PowerPoints and all my Quizlets and all that so I thank you guys for watching this video and before we end that video let's go ahead and go to GNS3 and let's fire this um, ASA appliance this firewall for the first time it's the first time that I'm going to fire to start this and hopefully it works because I have not used it before I added it before but I never turn it on and as you can see um, you can see this bad boy coming on now fixing our protocol DNS doing a lot of stuff and here it is enable and the password there is no password for it okay and for this for my entire series I'm going to be using GNS3 because you cannot there I don't build I don't think there's a firewall for packet tracer so I'm going to be using GNS3 so I thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next videos bye bye